we had AJ Styles and John Cena, the first ever one-on-one -on -one encounter. And what can I say about this match that has not been said already? I think up to this point, and I'm writing a whole article about this, not my personal top 10 favorite matches of 2016 so far, but rather 10 matches you need to watch, um, need to rewatch rather, from the first half of 2016 in WWE, including NXT. And it's, it's hard to say, I love Nakamura Sami Zayn from Dallas, but this match might, even if, okay, that's NXT, so only main roster here. This is probably my favorite main roster match up to this point in 2016. I love the Fatal 4-Way from Extreme Rules to the IC title. I love the Owens and Zayn. I love the Triple Threat Women's Championship match at WrestleMania 32. But this match was something else. And for a match that had only received three weeks of build-up, and of course it's been in the works, and it's been in the making for 15 years, obviously, but... It's a feud that really only kicked off three weeks ago. It's not like they were holding off on it until WrestleMania or SummerSlam. They gave it away at Money in the Bank. So, and I think it worked out for the better, considering the rest of the show was really, really good. The main events all delivered, and it was a, a star-studded event. But I thought uh, the match was great. Obviously, a phenomenal contest, no pun intended. For over 20 minutes, the momentum going back and forth, and just such great chemistry. You know, AJ on the ropes, going for phenomenal forearm. Cena picks him up for an AA. You know, AJ kicks out immediately. AJ hitting the Styles Clash on John Cena. AJ going for an AA, and, you know, uh, AJ rolling out of it into a calf crusher. Or calf, I almost said calf killer. It's now the calf crusher in WWE. Not a big difference, but... Gets him in that. He locks AJ in the SDF. Nearly taps out. So a lot of really good near falls. Like I said, great psychology, great chemistry, great story told. Everything about this match was just that. Great. Or even awesome. Um, I thought the whole match was just absolutely outstanding. There was not one moment. It was one of those matches, too, which is very rare for me personally, where I put down what I was doing. I did not tweet during it. Other than one spot, which I typed in. Or no, that was I typed it in during the main event uh, for the World Championship. But for this match, anyway, I think I put down my laptop, I put down everything, and I did not take my eyes away from the screen throughout the entirety of the contest. I just couldn't because I was so engaged in who would win. And 15 years in the making, like I said, and there's real, you only really have one opportunity to make a good first impression for a, for a first-time ever matchup, and they did just that by having a, just a stellar contest. And like I said, I cannot say enough good things about the match. But in the end, though, um, the finish kind of got some fans riled up, and understandably so, but I'll you know I'll defend it in a second and get my two thoughts on why I'm not as pissed. So anyway, um, Arcina has the match won. The referee gets knocked out. So we have the typical referee bump that you know followed AJ from TNA, apparently. Uh, so anyway, so we have the ref bump. The club comes in. Gallows and Anderson take out Cena with a magic killer. <clears throat> AJ covers Cena when the referee gets get, gets back up. Pin Cena scores the victory. AJ Styles beats John Cena. So here's the thing. Not that there was a lot of outrage. I saw a lot of praise for the match, the finish, the fact that AJ won. Only a minority of people, I thought, were upset or frustrated with the fact that AJ should have won clean. So here's the thing, and I know Owens was a heel when he beat Cena clean. Not everyone can beat Cena clean. AJ should beat Cena clean. Um, if there's anyone who deserves to beat Cena clean, it's him. That said, that's not to say that we won't see that down the line. There's no reason to say that we won't be seeing that at Battleground. We could see it at SummerSlam. Maybe they're holding off. Who knows? We really have no truly idea, excuse me, um, <clears throat> what this feud holds for the future. We could see this... You know, we could see, you know, we could see, finally see Styles beat Cena clean at the next pay-per-view. They could be building up to it at SummerSlam, so it means more there. I like the storytelling they did with this feud because as they explained, well, they explained first at the pay-per-view itself <clears throat> that AJ had no idea. He only covered Cena because he saw that he was out and he had no idea that Gallows and Anderson came in to help him. Of course, that was not the case, but that's the way that the commentators portrayed it. So then the next night on Raw, he had the club, quote-unquote, apologize to John Cena for costing him the win and whatever. And in storyline, AJ did it to give Cena an excuse for losing. And that Cena can use them as an excuse as to why he lost, because otherwise he would have lost AJ, clean and decisively in the middle of the ring. So I liked it. I liked it a lot. And then AJ's a heel. You're supposed to hate him anyway, so... I thought it was perfectly fine. Should he have beat him clean? Absolutely. I would have been thrilled, but I'm not any more... You know, I'm not any more... Um, you know, enthralled. I'm not any more thrilled by the win than I was, you know, just because he won dirty. Like I said, he's a heel. I know he promised there would be no interference in the contract signing on the week before on Raw. But again, he's a heel. He's going to go against his word. I do not think at all this made AJ look weak. You know, the fact I think we need to appreciate, which I talked all about yesterday 
And hashtag Ask Jason with Jason. Check it out, by the way. Great episode. We sat down for an hour. My buddy Jason talking, you know, answering all your guys' questions and whatever. And I also talked about this in review, in my written review of the show on Sunday Net and NextDayWrestling.net, that I, I just don't really see what the big deal is. I mean, we need to appreciate the fact, should he have beaten him clean? Sure, absolutely. But does it take away from the moment? It shouldn't. You got to look at the basics here, people. They could have very easily had Cena win his first match back and beat AJ Styles. That's freaking huge. That is freaking huge that Vince McMahon signed off on the face, the former face, rather, of TNA for over a decade, beating the former, the, the current face of WWE, who has been the, the flag bearer of WWE for over a decade. That is freaking huge that the former face of TNA pinned, not, not clean, dirty, clean, doesn't freaking matter, pin John Cena on a WWE pay-per-view. You need to appreciate that aspect, as I'm sure, guarantee you, everyone that is pissed about that would just be even more upset. Those are the same people that would be complaining that it had AJ lost. I would have been complaining too. But you gotta appreciate the fact and take what you can get. You gotta look at the glass hat, hat full here, people, that you have to appreciate and take what you can get with WWE. It's not always gonna be perfect. Appreciate that AJ won at all. Won at all. And the fact that it only took him one finisher. Took him one finisher. He, you know, he hit Roman Reigns with three Styles classes. One on a chair. You hit him with five phenomenal forearms and 20 chair shots. And he kicked out. John Cena got hit with what? One Styles clash, one Magic Killer, and that's it? I mean, come on. They, they're booking Cena better than Roman Reigns at this point. You know what I mean? So you got to appreciate that. And again, and even then, you can also consider the fact that you... you we, we, we could be getting AJ beating Cena clean at some point later down the line. I know that's being optimistic. That is being way too optimistic. And I fully expect Cena to win the next two matches as he did with Kevin Owens last year. But again, Owens, or rather, Styles needed this win. Coming off his back-to-back -back losses to Roman Reigns and then another loss <clears throat> in the Rumble and the loss of WrestleMania to Chris Jericho, he needed this win more than anything. And he won the match. Well, let's appreciate that for two seconds. And he's a heel anyway. If he was a baby face, more, maybe I'd have more to say on it. Maybe I'd complain a little bit more about it. <clears throat> but the fact that he won at all is huge. The fact that AJ Styles be again, <clears throat> excuse me, my voice, I'm losing my voice here. I'm going off on a rant here. The fact that AJ beat John Cena at all on a WWE pay-per-view <clears throat> is just huge. So again, let's appreciate that for two seconds before we complain about how he won the match. And then we'll see what the rest of this feud holds. If Cena beats him clean decisively in the middle of the ring in the next two pay-per-view matches, maybe then I'll say, okay, maybe he should have beaten him clean in their first match. But for right now, I honestly have no issue with this whatsoever. Because it makes more sense now to have him lose, to have Styles beat Cena via interference and then win later on his own, as opposed to beating him clean in the middle of the ring now, and then winning with interference later on. That would be ass backwards as to why he could beat him on his own, but he can't beat him on his own later on. You know, but this way it makes more sense. Because now we do not know if Styles can beat Cena on his own, clean in the middle of the ring. And once he does do that, he can prove to Cena and everyone else he's superior to John Cena. So again, I like the story they're telling. Bottom line, the match itself was outstanding. In my personal favorite main roster match of 2016 thus far. And I am anxiously anticipating the rematch come Battleground, you know, if they hold it, which they probably will, obviously. But, um... Bottom line here, people, just don't fret. I'm not saying don't complain. You can complain. You can complain all you want, but I'm just saying do not worry just yet that Styles won dirty. For one, appreciate that he won it all, and two, let's just see how the feud plays out. I do not have enough faith in WWE that they're going to do this right. Unfortunately, um, you know, past history has told us. History has told us, has taught us that Cena will likely win the next two matches on pay per view, but Styles won. He beat John Cena. Let's just recognize that for two seconds before we go on a, ma on a massive rant as to how we won dirty. Let's just wait and see how the feud plays out in the months to come. I'm look I, for one, am very much looking forward to it.